Hi y'all, I'm Brenda with Blessings and Bread. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, I am making a delicious marshmallow cream filling. And this is a filling that I like to use in my homemade oatmeal cream pies, or sometimes I make whoopie pies, which are a chocolate uh, cookie sandwich. And this, I think this could also be used in various cakes as cake filling uh, between the layers. So this is a very usable recipe for all kinds of desserts. And you can use this filling in lots of different things and it's very delicious and it's super easy to make. Uh, I think I say that about everything, super easy to make. But to me, baking is not hard if you just know the recipe and follow the recipe. It helps to know a few tricks, and I'm going to teach you one of those tricks today. One of the tricks about measuring marshmallow uh, cream. Marshmallow cream is very sticky, and so to measure it can be quite a challenge to get it out of the measuring cup or off of your uh, utensils. So I'm going to show you a really good trick today. Uh, I have my measuring cup here and in the bottom I have a little bit of butter and I'm going to take that butter and I'm going to spread that butter all over my measuring cup so that me my measuring cup is completely uh, greased with butter. Now I'm going to need a paper towel. So let me grab a paper towel to get that butter off my hands. Now the trick is you need a glass of really hot water and I've got the hottest water I could get out of my faucet or my tap right here and I'm going to take my spoon I'm actually going to dip my spoon in that hot water so it can be heating up that spoon and then I'm going to take it out and just pat it on my uh, paper towel to take off some of that water and now I'm going to use that hot spoon to dip my marshmallow cream filling. And then I also have a hot a knife that I'm also going to heat and that hot knife will then I'll pat it dry. We'll we'll scrape that leftover marshmallow cream right off of there. Put my knife right back in. Going to dip my spoon just to, again just to get it heated back up. Dab it on your paper towel, and then I can dip some more. I've already measured most of my marshmallow cream today, but I left just one cup to measure so that you could see how easy this works. All right, that goes back in there, and I'm going to try to spread this out a little more. I think I need maybe one more spoon. Maybe I can get it without... Heating it out again. Here comes my hot spoon. I mean, my hot knife just makes it glide right off of there. It looks like I've got plenty now. I just need to spread that out. So I'm sure I have exactly one cup of marshmallow cream filling. And I think that's pretty close. All right, now I want to show you how easy, because I buttered my cup my measuring cup, I can now just take that knife and just rake it right around and that marshmallow cream comes right out. Look at that. You can see from inside that there it just comes all out. If I had not buttered this, this would just be all sticky and stuck to it like it's stuck to this knife right now. And I'm going to go ahead and put my knife back in there and I'm going to put my spoon back in there. I might rake off some of this excess here back into the jar of marshmallow cream. And I'm going to leave these in here. I might need them again in a minute. However, I even buttered this bowl and this recipe called for two and a half cups of marshmallow cream and I had already measured a cup and a half and, but I buttered this bowl as well. So when I get ready to add this to my recipe, this uh, marshmallow cream will come right out of the bowl. All right, now I'm going to readjust my camera so you can get a better look, and we'll get started mixing up the marshmallow cream filling. The first ingredient 
is butter. And the type, it calls for 12 tablespoons of butter, which is actually just three fourths of a cup. So we're going to cream this butter till it's nice and smooth. Uh, the butter is now mixed uh, up. It was very soft because I've had it uh, out on the counter for a while and it is important that it be soft when you start this. So let me put this over in the sink. Now, now we're going to begin to incorporate uh, one and one fourth cup of powdered sugar. And I'm very famous for getting powdered sugar everywhere when I do anything with powdered sugar in the kitchen. So well, I'm gonna try to do my best to be neat today. So I'm gonna start on that really low speed and let it mix in slowly at first, and then I can speed up. the powdered sugar is mixed into the butter and so next I'm going to add just an eighth of a teaspoon of salt and anytime you're making something really sweet a little bit of salt will help to balance out that sweet taste and also while we're stopped I'm going to go ahead and add my vanilla and I'm using a teaspoon and a half of vanilla Gonna mix those in and then it'll be time to add the uh, marshmallow cream. All right, now we're ready to add the marshmallow cream and hopefully it's gonna slide right out of this bowl. I'm gonna get my hot spoon here use it i think this time i better lower my bowl and let's just see how easy this comes out of this bowl I think that's pretty good. It stuck a little bit in a few places, but I'm happy with that. It came out pretty easy. And then I use my hot knife to scrape the rest of this marshmallow cream off this spoon so we don't miss one ounce of all that marshmallow cream goodness in this recipe. All right, now we're just gonna mix this. And the directions do say don't over mix, but I think it'll take a about two minutes but i'm just gonna give it watch it and stop as soon as i think it's mixed well Once your marshmallow cream filling is done, then you're going to need to put it into a popping bag if you have one. And if you don't, 
you can just use a large Ziploc bag. But I have, I keep popping bags for cookie decorating and cake decorating. So I have these large popping bags. But I learned a trick a year or so ago when I went to Lubbock and went to a French cooking class. And what I learned is the best way to fill your pastry bag is to fold it down about halfway. And then you want to put your hand up under there and open it up so that it's on your hand and it's cuffed down. And then you're going to just take your cream filling and you put it in there and rake it off your hand. I'm going to say, I hope I measured everything correctly. I haven't made this in a while. This seems awfully soft and runny. But we're going to chill it for 30 minutes. So maybe I just have forgotten how soft it was before it's chilled. I think this is all going to fit. Maybe a little left in the pan won't be a bad thing. I can Let's scrape this out of the bowl. All right, so now I have all of my cream, my marshmallow cream filling in my bag and then I can just kind of try to work out some of the air bubbles. I see a few air bubbles. Air bubbles won't be as critical in this as they might be in like a frosting, but um, you might work some of them out, massage it a little bit. And I haven't cut the tip yet. I'll cut the tip after it chills. And then I have these neat little rubber band, or I have a clip. Little, so I have a little clip I can clip on there that will keep it closed. All right, so this will now go into the refrigerator for 30 minutes. I hope you've enjoyed my video today while I've been making my marshmallow cream filling. It's such a versatile filling. I use it in lots of, uh, of recipes for my homemade oatmeal cream pies to whoopie cookies. It's the perfect uh, filling for sandwich cookies. And I hope that you've enjoyed it. And I look forward to having you come back and watch more of my videos. I do have a video for my ho homemade oatmeal cream pies. You can, and I'll link that at the end of this. And I hope that I will see you the next time I'm in my kitchen, in my garden, or on my porch.